are Gold Spot Discoveries, and uh, we're looking to completely transform the way we look at investing and drilling in this business. Machine learning is all around us, and it's inevitable that it's going to have a huge impact in the mining sector. Myself, my name is Denis Laviolette, President and CEO of this company. I uh, started the company a little over three years ago. Uh, prior to that, I worked as a geologist uh, for many companies all over the world. Uh, transferred that experience into capital markets, where I got to look under the hood of um, a lot of uh, different projects worldwide. Uh, and Sorry, uh, the slide's not changing here. <laughs> uh, work uh, all over the, the world and, and transfer that experience to, uh, to uh, capital markets where I got to cut my teeth with Pine Tree Capital. Uh, it was very telling. Uh, I got to see a lot about what makes this industry tick uh, from both the capital market side and uh, the fundamental side. For the best editorial on junior mining, visit cambridgehouse.com slash mining. Click the link in the description below to learn more. Along the way, I had the pleasure of meeting this very brilliant team out of the Institute of National Research in Quebec City, and they were working on how to bring machine learning into the exploration game. Uh, together, we competed in the Disrupt Mining Challenge, where we finalized in third place, and uh, before that, the Integra Gold Rush Challenge, where we took second place. And so the industry is waking up to machine learning. Since then, we've grown exponentially. Our team now has 20 people, seven PhDs, uh, across all disciplines of both geoscience and data science. We're focused on solving a very, very big problem in our industry. That problem is essentially presented by uh, peak gold, or I should say peak discovery. In the last cycle, we've spent more and more money than ever before, and the resulting deposits and discoveries made were fewer and far between. This is a fabric of deposits getting deeper and deeper and harder and harder to find. Nonetheless, we spent the money. So where did this money go? Well, we were collecting super sophisticated information. New innovations in, in uh, remote sensing, geophysics, things like that, were really basically opening up a new world to us and our, exper and our experts in the fields. So we spent all of this money as an industry collecting huge amounts of data, and we needed the technical savviness to be able to actually fully unlock it. And so what ended up happening was, uh, by and large, that we were over our heads. Uh, essentially, our industry experts were outpaced by the technology itself. Their abilities to fully utilize it and squeeze every last drop of value out of that data uh, was really uh, something that was a little lacking in the space. But that's not for you know, uh, any bad reasons, really. Uh, but today, uh, we have uh, cloud computing and the digital revolution. At our fingertips, our cell phones, everything around us, uh, the world is a different place. For the best editorial on junior mining, visit cambridgehouse.com slash mining. Click the link in the description below to learn more. Uh, today, our cell phones are much more powerful than the computers we had in 2010, so that's something to think about. Uh, and uh, now, a lot of different machine learning technologies, algorithms, and scripting is available to the general public. And so this is really the solution to deal with this mountain of data, is AI. AI can think far better and far faster than the human brain. And that's pretty sad to think about because really as an industry, we're sitting on this mountain of untapped information that a computer can crunch in seconds and find patterns in that data that a human couldn't possibly find. And so we're leveraging this to help point us on to new discovery regions as well as uh, in the investment circles. Artificial intelligence is all around us. We're, we've seen it penetrate many different sectors. Uberization. Machine learning has completely conquered the taxi cab industry. And we've seen it make its move in uh, shopping with Amazon, as well as many other sectors around us. And so it's inevitable that the mining sphere and resource business is going to be influenced tremendously by machine learning. Goldspot has the first mover advantage. We are the first company working on this and we have a three year head start. A lot of big companies have taken a chance with us to refine our technology and work the bugs out. Hochschild Mining, Sprott, Integra, McEwen, Yamana, just to name a few. And our conversion ratio is incredible. A lot of these true believers today are the companies that we worked uh, for in a service capacity in the past, and now they're our, uh, our big shareholders. Triple Flag, Hochschild, Sprott, McEwen, we've got Frank, uh, and many, many more have basically seen us, uh, seen how we work, and uh, they believe in what we're doing enough to take a big equity stake. For a small company, that's a big statement. 
Resource Quantum Mental is a platform we've been building to shake up the investment uh, side of the business, the capital market side. We've essentially aggregated every shred of data in the public domain, uh, every press release, every drill hole, every insider filing, you name it. Everything in the kitchen sink has been put into this super sophisticated database, and we're training an AI platform to play the market, a quantum mental approach to investing. Essentially, this bot's going to tell us pound for pound who the best explorers are and who has the most uh, data for us to leverage our technology to make better. And so, in essence, uh, we're using a machine learning platform to pick the stocks that we get involved in, and uh, we're taking a quant approach to building a portfolio. Uh, so uh, this is a big uh, rising sentiment in many other uh, investment circles, and there's so many factors that drive a, a, a good investment. And so with a quant approach, we really can have an edge that others don't. We're value-add investors. That entire team of 20 people that uh, is essentially paid for through service contracts with major companies, we leverage in, into our investments. We're going to be working with our uh, investees to help transform their data and modernize it and really point them in the direction that they should be spending their money. The objective here, reduce time, reduce costs, and reduce the risks associated with discovery. In exchange for a royalty, we feel that royalties are the most resilient model in the, in the space, and so we think that through equity exposure and royalty exposure, we'll have ultimate leverage to new discoveries when they're made. So the objective of Goldspot is essentially to stimulate expiration, reduce time, reduce costs, errors, risks, and really fuel the future discoveries of tomorrow. We've been at it for three years. We've got a three-year head start. We're the only ones doing it. We're the first movers in this space, and we're going public next week. So it's very exciting times for Goldspot. Our ticker will be SPOT. We're cash flow positive. We've been uh, actively investing, acquiring royalties. We've got over 10 million in cash to deploy in the sector. And uh, our partners are drilling our targets. We've got Rockstar shareholders and Frank Holmes joining us as chairman. So we're very thrilled about that. Thank you very much.